Yeah, what's up everybody? Llama here and we've got some MLB The Show, um, Road to the Show Part 2. I think I had one up yesterday, if anyone missed it, link to that is in the info if you want to check it out. Or there should be an annotation up, unless I forget to do that. But, uh, I think I'll just do annotation so everyone can see each one. But yeah, here we are in, um, the third prospect game. We're gonna do this one and then we're gonna go into the draft and you can see how that works out. Now you can, uh, either go into the draft or go back to school if you don't like the team that you were drafted by or you can pick a team if you want to i was gonna pick the pirates but then i was like ah, my guy's a center fielder so he's not gonna start for a good 10 years or probably ever because i think mccutcheon's still only like 26 27 and he is gonna be the center fielder unless i wanted the new position so i was like i'm just gonna go with a team that drafts me but we're in game three of the um little amateur showcase here i was trying to get my um overall um potential up and then just kind of get your uh ratings and stuff like that up now another thing is um you start out at uh overall 50 or 55 for uh, this and you might think it's really low but they changed the ratings in this game so um there's not a lot of like 99 overall guys and stuff like i think the only two 99 overall guys are um not even verlander's like 93 or something he's not 99 who, who am i thinking of kershaw and uh, mike trout are the only ones like uh I think Cabrera is only like 95, 96. So I was looking at the Angels, like uh, Hamilton's like 84 or something really bad. So they definitely uh, changed the overalls up, which I actually kind of like. Cause they did have a lot of players that were 99 overall, like uh, they had a ridiculous amount in the past few years. So uh, kind of lowering these are good. Although I was looking at a lot of teams, pitchers are really low. Like you see a lot of level 70 pitchers that are pretty competent. Um, Pirates had a bunch of them. Morton was like 72 or something Liriano was only like an 82 or something and he had a freaking monster year last year he had like a th three three one era and then he won like 16 games um and his was only like 82 83 so um there's that oh and then another cool thing of uh road to the show here you can actually skip base running too which i didn't know at this part but that's the one thing i hate about road to the show is base running all you have to do when you're on base, hit start, and then um, go to the little super sim thing and hit simulate until your next appearance. Now, if you're on the base and there's only one out and there's a second out, it's going to resume again. We just hit start, fast forward it again. You can do that, which is pretty cool because that's why I didn't play Road to the Show too much in the past is because of um, base running and stuff is super boring. Another sweet feature that we won't get to use this year is um, you can carry your saves over from uh, this game to um, next title, so like uh, the show 15, 16. And I guess it's cool for the franchise mode, but what it'll be really cool for is Road to the Show. You can carry Road to the Show saves over to uh, the next versions of the game and stuff, which would be really cool because you don't have to start a new freaking uh, player every time. And if you can start off with him next year in his like third or fourth season in the pros and like finish an actual career out in the pros, I think it'd be pretty sweet to do since um, you have to start over every year and you got to spend like two, two, three years in the minors anyway. So I'm going to go to the draft here. As you can see, Houston gets the first pick since they had the worst overall record last year. I edited it out, they had like a whole draft thing where they were like announcing everyone's name, and a big long thing, so I cut that out here so you can just see the uh, draft. And then um, I think we go pretty soon here as you can see, if it shows it. Holy crap, this takes forever. We go to the Twins, <laughs> it doesn't want to pop up there again. I think it popped up like half a second later. So we get drafted by the Twins and then I am met with the option of either Signing with the team or going back to, uh, or not back to college, but I guess to college since my dude's 18, so he probably just uh, graduated high school here if it wants to do it sometime today. So I didn't know, I thought I could only go back to college once. I didn't know if I go back for two years, then I have the option of going back for one or two more years. So I decided to go to a uh, junior college for one year, and you can see um, there's that. And then you don't even have to play in the college, it just advances you one year and it brings my potential from a B up to an A. So I would definitely recommend um, doing your character. He's gonna age one year, but definitely send him back to school for at least one year so you can get his uh, potential up to an A if it's not already. And then it'll definitely increase his draft stock. So here we had three more games, just edited it up to uh, some of the uh, highlights of it. You can see that was ruled as a base hit. I thought that was kind of an error, but um, gives me an RBI base hit there. So that will definitely help out my uh, overall draft prospect. Also, if anyone else didn't see uh, El Presidor <laughs> had some great videos. I don't watch his Call of Duty videos, but he had one making fun of uh, Call of Duty Esports, and he had like a whole thing where he was doing, um, he was at Mel Kuyper Jr. and Todd McShay, whoever, who do the uh, draft stuff for the NFL draft on ESPN. He had one like that with uh, like all the Call of Duty Esports dudes. That was pretty funny. So I'll link that in the info of this video too. El Presidor's got some good videos. I like watching his vlogs. I don't get all the... Uh, Call of Duty stuff that he does. I don't know, I just, I'm not in the Call of Duty videos at all, but um, 
Yeah, what else to talk about? Anyone see the Pirates actually won the other night against the Cubs? I think it was a walk-off in the uh, 10th inning for Neil Walker. There was uh, one play overturned in that one. Then there's been a few uh, overturned plays, which is kind of cool that they have video replay. It'll definitely make the games take longer. But with um, them uh, overturning multiple calls in opening day, it definitely shows uh, how needed it was and the inaccuracy of uh, all the umpires. Another thing I don't get why they can't do is... Um, fix the strike zone so we can actually get like the umpire doesn't need to call it they have the uh, little computer thing they have like those sensors that are on the sides of the plate and it'll show you where the ball landed um a tenth of a second after it crosses the plate that should just automatically call everything i don't know why we're still using the umpires you screw up balls and strikes all the time when you can just go to the freaking computer system there which is 100 percent accurate as opposed to the i don't know the umpire who screws up crucial calls and games all the time but um, i don't think we're going to see that for a good while but that one wouldn't actually slow the game down like the video replay um i get why people didn't want it because it slows it down but you, you have to have video replay there's so many times who was the dude i think it was a few years ago i want to say it was the dodgers or something and the guy was like about three feet off the base and he had his back foot it, it was like a solid three feet off the base but he kind of like bent over and uh caught the ball and they they rolled it in out and then there was that dude for uh detroit who um pitched the perfect game and he got the final out he stepped on first and they called the runner safe he beat him by like half a second it was a clear out it wasn't even a close call and that dude get screwed out of a freaking perfect game um this was an embarrassing bunt but i left it in there because you can see how good the catcher was <laughs> freaking dove up for that one and then what was it that one against the pirates and uh who did they play where they lost in 19 innings to another retarded call that was not even close it was a ridiculous call but um they kind of got rid of the uh, whole it was like a play at the play thing and mchenry swipe tagged him instead of block the plate and tried to uh not get hurt from a collision and they said the guy was safe somehow but um they kind of took the collisions out of baseball this year which is dumb you need them in there if you don't want your catcher to get collided with and i don't know have them, you can't really swipe tag when the guy's coming in to drill you but uh i don't know I, I i don't think they should be able to take that out it's kind of a crucial part of baseball um because like base runners can still advance and stuff even if you don't knock the ball free if you just knock the catcher over enough to uh if you got a guy on second or something, if he's got momentum from running from first to second, he can take third or something like that, and it could be a uh, big play in a game. So, not really a fan of how they did that. But here we're going to go into the uh, draft. My dude is like a 55 overall. Um, and then uh, potential A. And then we get drafted number one to so the Houston Astros, the uh, worst team in baseball. Oh, they are doing a little bit. They've got a nice uh, farm system going. I expect them to be good here in the next uh, three to five years. So, the choice of going back to school, but I was like, screw it, I'm just going to sign with the team. I was hoping they'd put me in AAA immediately, but they uh, they draw me in AA, so I'll probably play uh, a few games in AA and then see if I can get up there. There you see uh, all the starters and stuff. I think my stats are actually better than the uh, AAA starter, so I'm thinking if I play a few weeks, maybe a month here in uh, AA, then I will get a AAA, and uh, hopefully I can be in the pros by the next season of this. And then, um, yeah, like I said, just simulate running and stuff, and the uh, games actually get by pretty quick when you're playing as a... Uh, is a fielder or just a positional player, I guess is the word I'm looking for. You can see you can uh, up your stats and stuff like that. Also, I'll have a franchise video up uh, either later today or early tomorrow, depending on this one should go up Wednesday at some time. So um, that's it, guys. I'm going to go uh, probably play more of this into a pirate game tonight. And then, um, yeah, I got homework to do, but I'll probably do that at like 10 p.m. at night instead of actually doing it now because... Um, I'm retarded and always wait to the last minute. So, uh, that's it, guys. Um, subscribe if you want, I guess. And then, if not, don't. Yeah. Awkward ending here.